What's going on guys? It is the Phantom Michael and I am bringing you episode number three of our Pokemon black and white randomized soul link challenge and I am joined with the one the only DJ Spinda. What's going on guys? DJ Spinda here. Alright you guys on our last episode we got our starter Pokemon and our route one encounter. Let's do a quick team recap to kick it off for our friends. So up first for me we have Barrier the Corsola, which is our starter, with Tackle and Harden. Hustle ability, which is amazing. Sweet! And linked with Barrier is Hairspray, the Tangrowth, with that Chlorophyll ability. Rocking out with the moves Ingrain, Constrict, Sleep Powder, and Absorb. Up next, our secondary Pokemon on our team, we have Canine the Growlithe with Bite, Roar, and Ember. And linked with K9 is Shug, the little lady uh, intimidating, by the way. Uh, Snubble with Tackle, Scary Face, Tail Whip, and Charm. Nice. All right. That is our squad so far. Let's go ahead and push on forward. I can't believe we still um, don't have running shoes. By the I way, do remember. fun fact, while, while grinding, uh, I grinded only a little bit, tiny bit off screen, like we were going to do. Uh... <laughs> I ran into a Regigigas, dude. No joke. Mm -hmm. No joke. And what transpired? I knocked it out and got two levels instantly. Nice. Yeah, it was, it was quite tasty. Um, are you talking to Cherim yet? Uh, no, I'm not, actually. I just got the potion oh my from the kid in the gosh, grass. Gosh, a drill burr would be so cool. Ooh, you dang right. All right, uh, let's get... Dude, they take a long time... Of, not giving you running shoes. Okay, I'm talking to Sharon right now. DJ Spin, are you going back to compare? Are you going to compare yourself with Bianca? Both Bianca and I have two Pokemon with us. Okay. And now it's Bianca. How about it, Phantom? Do you want to compare which one of us has the most Pokemon with them? Yes. Seems the number of Pokemon Phantom has is two. We all have the same number then. Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you've found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Accumulate Town. The professor is waiting. Oh. Except the cross transceiver's Hello. going now. How is everybody doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Oh, professor. Right now, I'm in front of Accumulate. Oh, right now, I'm in front of Accumulate Town's Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so hurry on over, everyone. Okay, the Pokemon Center, right? Okay, see you. The only way you could tell who was talking is by the, yeah, little, the little speaker. Yeah, the little speaker thing in the corner. Well, I'm what? going... <laughs> well, then I'm going this way. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should go that way. That way? You think we should go that way? Yep. Well, then I'm going this way. <laughs> you think that we should go... That way? Yep. Well, then I'm going this way. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Best thing ever. Oh. Uh, it's Professor. That's you, man. No, you're the professor, right. man. Oh, oh, you, you're already talking to the professor? Yeah, let's just get this, uh... I was dying. Wait. Oh, Phantom, there you are. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. I'd like to show you the most important place for trainers. Professor Juniper, this is a Pokemon Center. Don't you feel better as soon as you step through the door? Okay, let's start our tour. No, oh, Bianca's like, oh my goodness. A Pokemon Center is a truly incredible place. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed. And what's more, it's absolutely free. A Pokemon Center is a trainer's best for Even the Pokemon world has universal health care. I know. Here, Pokemon, give it a try. <laughs> oh, 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 I walked away. Oh. I'm gonna heal. Heal my Pokemon. Thank you for waiting. Restore your Pokemon at full health. We hope to see you again. Okay, 
Now that your Pokemon have rested, I'll show you how to use your PC as, as a Pokemon Center. Yep, this is a PC box. This is, you select the button. You you can have six Pokemon traveling. You just caught, yep, that's amazing. Even here's something else that's cool. If you select my PC, it'll evaluate the progress you've made in your Pokedex. Professor, it says someone's PC on the screen. Who is someone? Very good, Bianca. Mm -hmm. That's a great observation. Good question. I'd like to say more, but for now, just ignore that and go ahead and use the PC. Someone is the person who made the Pokemon storage system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Okay, let's move on. Well, that's really weird. <laughs> now, this is a Pokemart. You buy stuff at the Pokemart. Trainers need stuff to buy stuff, like Pokeballs. That's literally all we're going to need. Yep. Oh, I should buy some Pokeballs. Okay, let's... Let's buy ourselves. We have three thousand five hundred dollars. Is that what we're buying? I think I'm gonna stock up on potions the way this stuff's been going. My goodness. Yeah, I'm buying six Pokeballs and the rest I'm spending on potions. Cool. That doesn't sound like a bad idea since we didn't have to use. Dude, I'm so glad that was in a. Ooh. Uh, a, ooh, five potions. Okay, I'll do that. I'll save a Something's little extra going money. On outside. I'm not quite there yet. I'm still buying. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's people. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, well, let's let's have a look-see. Uh-oh. DJ Spin, come here a sec. Ooh, this music. Oh, I had a really good, I had a really good voice. Are you My name is Getsis, and I'm here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take you about Pokemon Liberation. Huh? What? Who? Huh? I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, it is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that it is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers that get pushed around when they are partners at work. Can you say with confidence that there is no truth in what I say? No way, I don't know. Ah! Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings for whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? That's right. We must liberate Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon. And the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. You know, Team Plasma had a... Uh, their whole spiel didn't really seem that evil. evil. Yeah, it really isn't. It's like they, you know... Oh, uh, <clears throat> oh what about uh, about that speech? What do, you, what, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. Everybody just walks away. There's N. Ooh. The voice of N. That'll be interesting. He's really curious and really doesn't know much about the world. <laughs> Your Pokemon? Just now, it was saying... Slow down. You talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh. Then you you two can't hear it either, huh? How sad. My name is N. My name is Sharon, and this is DJ Spinda. We're asked to complete the Pokedex and just left on our journey. My main goal is to become a champion, though. The Pokedex, huh? So you're going to confine many, many Pokemon in Pokeballs for that, then? I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are, po are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, DJ Spinda, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Oh my god. Straight up into a battle. Oh, let's hope he doesn't have something broken. 
He has a oh! Wilmer. What does yours have? A Wilmer. Dude, mine has a Thunderous. Dylan. Oh, what is this, dude? I... What? He swaggered me. He first turn swaggered me. Can you put him to sleep? I'm going to switch into Snubble and get a, an Intimidate on him. That's a great idea. Oh, and I Confusion hit myself. Awesome. Okay, uh, Snubble, come on out here. What, what's Tornadus going to have? Or I mean, not Tornadus. He's th a pure what, Thunder type. What is, no, Thunderous. Thunderous. What is Thunder going to have? Thunderous going to have at level 7. I'd look it up. I know, right? He's got Uproar. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. That took my Snubble from 24 down to 8. Oh, my God. Ah. <sighs> This is insane. He's gonna uproar again. Dude, that does that does even a lot to hairspray. And I and that was with him being intimidated. That's because uproar is a special. Oh it is. Shoot. Oh, I am in so much trouble right now. Oh, let's potion up hairspray. I want to try to get an ingrain or or I don't know. Am I able to sleep powder? Oh, he just got a crit. Took me from full down to two. Oh my god, dude! I don't even know if I can potion up enough to live these these uproars. Oh, he went astonished this time. Okay, 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 okay. That didn't do hardly anything. I I'm gonna I got a potion up again, dude. I'm down to three potions now. Swaggered again, dude. This is killing me. I need to get in. He's increasing your attack, though. Yeah, I know. But if I hit myself and he goes with an uproar, I'm gonna die. You just need to be. Yeah, that's that's shitty, dude. That he keeps swaggering, confusing you. <sighs> it's not not even like you could absorb him. He went uproar again, dude. That does almost half. Dude, what is up with your game, man? Freaking Dark Ride, Reg Ice. Dude, I just hit him with Absorb, and it, and it did literally dang near nothing. If he lands a crit here, a crit uproar, I am dead. Um, I'm over half. I'm confused, so I don't dare try to attack, because if I hit myself and he hits me with uproar, I'm dead. So I just gotta, I gotta potion up again. I don't know what the heck to do. He uproared again. Okay, so uproar takes me from 34 HP down to 19. Ah, uh, how much how much PP does uproar have? Do you know? Is it? I think it's 10. I, I hope it's 10. Cause he's used it, I would say probably five plus times now. Okay, he just calmed down. Um, dude, I don't know what to do, because if I attack and I hit myself, it's over. Unless he uses Astonish. Um, I've got one potion left. The only thing I think I can do... Would it be worth for me to try to sleep powder him right now? So he has Swagger, Uproar, Thundershock, and Astonish. Okay, he hasn't used Thundershock. That's the only move he hasn't used. He's used Astonish. Uproar is 90 based normal special attack. And how much PP? Ten. Okay, so he's got to be close to done with that. I think I'm just going to heal one more turn and see what he goes for. Yeah, because, I mean, Astonish only does 30, and it's a physical ghost type. Yeah. Thundershock only does 40, and he has Swagger. Yeah. I just potioned up with my last potion, and he used Uproar again. The only thing I cannot remember, though, dude, is if Uproar is... You click it once, and then he keeps using it until it's done. 
Well, I, I feel like that's what it is because he used it a bunch of times. But but he stopped using it partway through. He used it and it okay. went like three or four times and then he used Astonish. But then he used it a few more times and then it said he calmed down. So we're I don't... lucky that we're not playing 6 Gen right now because in 6 Gen he gets Uproar, Thrash, Hammer Arm at level, at level 7 and below. My lord. This is outrageous. Okay, so... I'm out of potions. I've got hairspray at level or uh, with 20 HP left. He, without a crit, he can live another, um, another uproar. But would it be worth for me to switch into Snubble and have Snubble take this hit just to try to get another uh, uproar out of the way and sack him off and then go back into hairspray? So I'm not confused anymore, and I can try to, you know, ingrain or sleep powder or something. That might be your only option. I really think it is. I'm all out of potions, nope. so I gotta get ingrained for sure. And who knows, maybe he'll go with Astonish and we'll be super lucky. Do it and see what happens. Alright, I switched into Snubble. Got another Intimidate off on him. He went Uproar. Snubble's dead. Oh. Now it just said the foe's thunderous is making an uproar. You should look and see if uproar works that way. Does it say it in the move description at all? Because if it does, we're screwed. Like, I'm fully counting on trying to get... Now he used uproar again. He got me down to 6 HP. I got an ingrain off. And that's all I can do. Literally, that's all I can do. If It says he calmed down. If he's out of it, then we're good. But if he's not, he's not. It's over. I, I lost. There's nothing I can do. Yep. Literally nothing I can do. Uproar inflicts damage for three turns. Wow, that is so broken. Yep. 90 base attack. It used to not be 90 because Whisper used to get it, and it used to only do like 15. I don't know what, I don't know what to do. I don't think it should count. Yeah? It's a forced battle. Yeah. And it's a thunderous! I, I think I still have to battle him either way. Don't I still have to battle him now? Yeah, we're gonna have to beat him, but at least we can go get more encounters. Oh, dude, I don't know if I can. All those people are still standing out there. Hold up. It's a forced battle. I, I feel like that... I feel like that's, like, got some leeway in it. Because, dude... It, I think, for my argument's sake, I'm just gonna skip this dialogue until you, you beat him. Um... I don't know so if, I, the pro, I, don't know the, if I can beat him. Is the professor still in the way, or what? No, when I... No, when I walk out of the Pokemon Center, Sharon and Ann and all of them are still piled up where Team Plasma was. Okay, so it goes, it puts you right in the cutscene? Yep, as soon as I walk away from the Pokemon Center, it gets me in the cutscene. Yep, now gets this is back out doing his thing. Fast forward through it and see if you can maybe do a different outcome. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. I can't get through this. Dude, guys, this is insane. Like, how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to do this this early game like this? Literally every, every force battle in this game has been a legendary for me. Every single one of them. Re-randomize. Dude, that's insane. Well, now I know not to waste my time... Um... Dude, oh, come on. You have to hit yourself by confusion every single time. Does that have to be a thing? Seriously? Well, uh, and I don't have potions now. Because it's a continuation. Oh, shoot, really? Yeah, this is a waste of time. Wow. Yeah, E uproar killed Hairspray. So, what I think you're going to have to do is... Guys, I think restart. We, I think we got to end this episode early. What I'm going to do, because I've seen this happen before. I've seen it where there's literally an unbeatable, an unbeatable point at this very point in the game. Shady and Nappy did the exact same thing. You can go and check it out. I promise they did the same thing. I would say just for this battle for all intents and purposes and i'm sure most of you watching can understand this 
you can understand this just for this one situation consider it like a mark against us as nuzlockers if you want mm -hmm. but we catch or shady catches a pokemon just to get him through this battle because he literally cannot touch this mandibuzz what they did is in that situation where you just can't get past this forced battle at the very beginning they would go and grind up their Pokemon, get them up to some higher levels, and and go back into it and go from there. Like that's that's all we can do because I literally can't touch this thing. Like I don't, yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do this thing. So I think we should, I think we should do that. How do you feel about that, Mike? That sounds good to me, man. Man, this well, this one's off to an outrageous start already, and I'm already losing sleep over it. But. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do, and if you guys, you know, if some of you guys, like, if, if you're not a fan of it, then, you know, it is what it is, but, like, we wanna, we wanna, this playthrough hasn't even gotten started, we barely got our feet on the ground yet, and I have already, so far, run into a Darkrai, a Regice, off-screen while I was grinding was a Regi, uh, Regigigas, and now, my first force battle against N is a, a Thunderous, so... I think you guys can sympathize with me a little bit. So what we're going to do is off screen, I'm going to get everybody up to probably level 10 or something. I don't know. And go for it. And we'll we'll come back in the next episode. We'll do this force battle again. And and uh, and that's, that's what we're going to have to do, I think. What do you think of that? Sounds good to me. All right, I'll close this out. All right, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this insane, devastating, upsetting episode, Please smash that like button first. Your support would be greatly appreciated. And with that, I've been the Phantom Michael. That's DJ Spinda. We're going to get the heck out of here. We will see you guys in the next one.